Hey guys, Venus and Star Blessings. Very quick uh, few minutes of audio. So today I had my um, first class and so here's the chart for it. Just wanted to show some astrological symbolism and I also just want to say that it was completely magical. Um, such a beautiful class. It was on the personality and the soul, that is the integration, alignment of the personality and the soul. Huge, huge topic. I wrote over a thou uh, <laughs> over 8,000 words for that class and I had to um, try to condense it and summarise a lot of um, sections of that class because it would have been, um, well, just, just that amount of words if I'd gone into um like really deep um depth you know with with every detail well actually it probably would have been about a 12 hour class it turned out to be three and a half hours um there was a few people there and um they all loved it and I'm very grateful to those who decided to participate and share with me anyway look it was simply just um a really powerful class because the subject of the soul and personality is infinite it's huge you could write volumes of books on it and I just wanted to encapsulate some very core principles and teachings through various lenses of astrology such as uh, evolutionary esoteric and I also included um, the Venus cycles as a way of understanding the process and journey of personality, soul alignment, integration and so forth. There's a lot to it and if you want to have access to that class you can just email me and we can work that out. The chart um, and the class went for, sorry if there's background noise I've got my balcony door open um the, the the class went for three and a half hours it was set for two and a half but it went for um three and a half which is not unusual for me those of you that have um, sat with me in webinars and workshops or astrology readings whatever I tend to um go over time I'm a soul ray number one and a personality ray number two and I speak about that um in this class as well because I talk about esoteric astrology in the rays and um, how to work with that uh, those concepts those principles those teachings because the seven rays are basically a specific uh, frequency energy pattern that basically speaks through your chart so um, uh, to summarize from the point of view of this um, chart this was the moment that I started uh, people zoomed in a few minutes earlier. Of course, that's just, you know, um, housekeeping, allowing everyone into the Zoom meeting, etc. But when I started talking about the material, it was actually uh, 1034. I specifically made a point to note that myself. We can see that Uranus is on the descendant. And whilst the descendant or the seventh house corresponds more to one-on-one -on -one interactions we can slightly expand this and say okay so everybody who came in <laughs> to this session was interested in astrology uranus right that's very obvious uh venus and juno juno is exactly exactly conjunct the mc of this chart and whilst i'm pointing to some symbolism at the moment this chart actually reflects the unfoldment of my journey with everybody who joins the classes over, um, you know, quite a long time because the classes will probably go for about three years, actually. <laughs> um, I have over 50 subjects already, okay? So the Juno, in other words, on the Midheaven, because that's the closest um, archetype conjunct and angle, and that's a very important um correspondence there 
Now, Juno usually corresponds to one-on-one -on -one situations. Again, one-on-one -on -one relationships, one-on-one -on -one partnerships and so forth. So perhaps we'll see how that unfolds. But Venus in the 10th is certainly um, speaking to what happened in this three and a half hour class because that's me speaking about what I love, Venus. Okay. Um, the sun is there as well. The sun is kind of hovering between the 10th and 11th. Um, so the 10th house is the public presentation, if you like, of um, the actual class. And one of the most amazing features is actually the mercury Pallas athena conjunction, exact. This is very important symbolism because it's in the 11th house. The 11th house, of course, is groups. And Mercury rules the 11th house cusp. But even if we do whole sign houses, it will still be the case. Mercury will still be in here. So will Pallas. We'll just have zero degrees there on the cusp, for example. So Mercury is the ruler of this house cusp. Mercury is dignified extremely dignified because it's in its domicile position, Virgo, its own rulership. Um, it is retrograde, but that is actually a spiritual omen because the retrograde component of any planet speaks to the dimension that we enter and explore within us that is beyond the external material world. So basically... Um, the Mercury Pallas Athena conjunction in Virgo, which rules the 11th house and which is conjunct the 11th house by sign. And if we go to whole sign houses, it's of course conjunct the house cusp. Um, it just simply speaks to teaching, speaking, sharing knowledge with Pallas Athena. Pallas Athena, of course, is a symbol of wisdom. She's the goddess of wisdom, the daughter of Jupiter. She's the feminine counterpart of wisdom. There's so many more layers to Pallas Athena, which I touched on in this class, actually, because she corresponds to the Venus morning star. Pallas Athena is the goddess of, um, in Babylonian, um, Mesopotamian, ancient lands and astrology Pallas Athena is the morning star who's also known as Ishtar of Akkad just spoke about so anyway Pallas Athena is a very powerful symbol when you're looking at the experience expression embodiment manifestation of wisdom whether that's sharing it or receiving it and so here we have Pallas in the 11th house you know so the symbolism is um very, very specific. Pluto in the third house, sharing knowledge, information, um, teachings and so forth through Pluto, the soul. And the class today was on the soul and the personality. The moon in Jupiter uh, really created a very um, positive vibe within the group itself and within myself. There's quite a few different archetypes. Um, the uh, north node conjunct vertex exact in Aries. That's very, very important for me. Um, and being in the sixth house, house of service. So this is a divine service that I have dedicated my life to. My whole life actually has been dedicated to the service of the cosmic language, the language of God, the stars. And when I say God, do not mistake it for a masculine or a feminine gender for that matter. God is actually just a word that can be um, understood or perceived or related to in a multiple, multitude of ways, depending on one's um, life experiences uh, philosophical orientation, religious beliefs, and so forth. But from the point of view of the context in which I use the word God, it simply refers to the one source creation to all things. 
So anyway, I just wanted to share those um, few comments and um, share this with you to let you know that the class is available even though you um, were not able to attend to the live um, recording live Zoom session. It's been recorded, so it is available. Um, it's it's really um, just imagine if you've been working your entire life for quite a few decades on the language of God, the stars, and you've come to an understanding not that you have all the answers. No one does, and certainly neither do I. But you've come to some very deep, pivotal understanding of the soul and the personality, the relationship between the two, the integration, and how that might be viewed astrologically. And whilst this is actually a two-dimensional chart, um, in uh, the program that I'll be using in future classes, which will be Ruman, Ruman Kolev's program, we have a three-dimensional chart. So we see um, many things that are not seen in this chart, for instance. But even in this chart, there are fractals and multiple dimensions, multiple dimensions. What you're seeing here is the tip of the iceberg. So anyway, I just wanted to share that and invite you all to reach out. If you're interested in all my classes, actually, if you want to know what the subjects are, the topics, etc., if you haven't seen what I've already shared and posted or emailed, let me know and I'll send you the information. If you're interested in the class that um, was the first class for, for today, which was just pure magic, um, highly recommend it, whether you are a professional astrologer or not, it's incredibly valuable. And I know, I absolutely know that you will find tremendous value in it. Okay, much love and um, Venus star blessings as always. And I will try to make it um, online very soon for the full moon in Pisces and uh, speak to that particular um, lunation cycle that's coming up important one it's conjunct saturn so i'll see you guys soon okay thanks for listening bye for now